what is happening everyone if you're watching this video the new gymsties drop is live you can purchase below um it's probably gonna sell out quick so you might want to get them fast got limited stock available anyway besides that i hope that you enjoy this vlog this is like in the future of this vlog you're about to watch this is new gymsies office just moving in getting everything sorted for the launch which is now live if you're watching this fucking trips me out every time that kind of shit you guys will see all this in a future vlog but for now Go buy a Gymsies and enjoy this vlog. I need ya, I need ya, I need you right now. Yeah, I need you right now. So don't let me, don't let me, don't let me down. I think I'm losing my mind now. It's in my head, darling. I hope that you'll be here when I need you the most. So, funny story, I don't have a place to live. I move out of this house in two days time. If you're watching this, I've already moved out. So my plan was to stay at my friend's house. This friend of mine, he is also looking to come in as a new business partner with me to run Gymsties. We need to take this shit next level and it's not a one person job. I've tried. So. We had plans that the spare room in his house is going to be the new Gymsies office. I don't have a place to live right now, but it's more important that Gymsies gets an office set up. Like, that is the main priority. So you guys might think I'm crazy, but I'm going to be living in this car for the next couple of weeks. And I'm not playing. Here's what's going to happen. Tomorrow, ideally going to move all the Gymsies stuff. So for now, I'm just going to start packing everything up and getting it ready for the move. White rise above the rest, caps. Gymsies.com, all black ones are sold out, so if you want the black one, you're just gonna have to get a white one. Oh, shit. So I'm just thinking how I'm gonna optimize space in here. I'm thinking this is where my suitcase is gonna go that I'm gonna live out of, the front passenger seat. I've got the subwoofer here, strapped in. I think what I'm gonna do is, because I need to get the seats coming down so I can get the mattress in there is I'm gonna need to put this behind the driver's seat but that might be a bad idea because then it will like vibrate the shit out of me but maybe you'll feel nice so officially all moved out of the old place so happy to get out of there I feel like a free man now you know might be sleeping in my car but my main priority is just getting fucking business shit up and running as long as long as I can like be productive edit all my vlogs do my vlogs film my vlogs and get Gymsties back up and pumping. You know, I, I, I'll sleep on the fucking ground. You know, like I don't give a shit. Those are my priorities and um, I'm just gonna make it happen. You know, right now by not paying rent, uh, I'm saving a lot of money, so. One thing that is given in life is that when you are a man and you are in a dark area and females walk past, you're gonna look like a rapist no matter what. There's nothing you can do about it. You just gotta sit here and just play it cool. I got these guys from Kmart the other day. Cause I needed to get gloves to go into town cause I went to town on the weekend and I got drunk for the first time in since New Year's. So what's that, like six months? It's kind of crazy and it was very interesting it got me thinking it got me thinking a lot my eyes were open so I, I was like okay I see why people do this it kind of does it, it puts you in this like place where you like feel uplifted and real careless confidence just comes like that and I was like man this is why people fucking drink and then the next day it just felt like absolute shit uh, completely fucked up all my productivity even my my mental like aptitude just felt really foggy and just crap and just couldn't think straight couldn't string sentences together and shit I was like and this is why I don't drink a lot of um, a lot of people ask me about drinking for uh, you know if it's going to affect your training and all that kind of stuff and it does man it, it definitely does like if it's something like you feel like you need to do or like you really you know want to do like I'd recommend you just keep it minimum man like for real I mean back in the day man I used to I used to go hard I used to drink like twice a week and get fucked up twice a week back when I was at uni and all that but man if, if, if I didn't do that my gains would have been a lot 
better so so i think in today's video i want to do things a bit different and actually kind of open up for a deep discussion not do some so much quick edits and all that kind of stuff and talk to you guys about some you know some some shit like some real stuff because i've been going through a bit of stuff lately um right now in my life i'm, I'm not really in the best uh, position financially I'm very like unstable right now with my my living conditions uh, just everything man like I'm in a really like strange space and it's quite discomforting at, at times when you when you let it like I said I took that time off social media uh, when I just cleared my head and did my own thing and then my businesses went to shit I made no money I thought I was incomeless for like two months and I fucking paid for this trip, this New Zealand trip for me and Becky, which is a few grand. Um, it was pretty much spending money that I didn't even have on the credit card and pretty much got myself in a really shitty financial situation. And right now I've just been recovering from that and I'm just, you know, trying to get back on track. And, you know, it's, it's good finally getting like my YouTube active again and, and you know, like the gym stees and stuff really pumps to be, uh, you know, I'm in a good place doing that, but like, if I didn't have that, man, I'd hate to think the dark kind of places I'd be in right now. But because I'm keeping focused and I'm keeping that vision and, you know, like I know why I'm doing my shit. Like it's, it's really clear and I'm very motivated right now, which is really good. But yeah, I'd be lying if I said I, I haven't been through some rough times lately. But anyway, I was going to talk about some, you know, pretty deep stuff here. Like today I actually got really down. Um, I was, uh, I just, you know, I started the morning talking... Uh, it's just like a family member of mine and um, they were just like very worried about me and, and just kind of putting all this kind of negative energy on me like when I kind of needed positive energy you know what I'm saying like it was just very like doubting me and stuff and doubting shit about my life and you know it's just all fair and well like my, my life's pretty crazy man like I don't expect everyone to like jump you know like be like fuck yeah but you know sometimes it's a shame like the, the you feel like the people who should support you most don't and I know like a lot of you guys probably deal with that kind of stuff like a lot of you know family a lot of the time they, they don't understand you like you know they'll bring you into this world without even thinking twice and then as soon as you kind of like want to do stuff on your own or think differently or are uh, difference to them all of a sudden like there's something wrong with you and you know like you're the one that's kind of like not doing not living life right and, and I think that's just it's really sad like I, I really get pretty barred up about that shit because it's like you know we come into this life and and there's no right or wrong way to live a life like like who's to say you need to go down this path and and you, you know you, you should be like dictated uh, your actions should be dictated by you know what your family wants like what your parents want all this you know all this kind of stuff and it kind of seems to take control man I'm, I'm getting Anyway, the, yeah, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, so I was, I was talking to, you know, this family member of mine, and I mean, it's pretty fucking obvious it's my mom. I'm just going to say it's my mom. And, uh, you know, she's always really worried and overprotective and concerned. And, you know, like, um, you know, when when shit's a bit unstable in my life, it's, it's kind of, she's kind of like the worst person to talk to. Uh, my mom loves me very much. I love her very much. But, you know, this is, we, we clash. And, you know, I wasn't going to put this really personal shit out there and actually, like, talk about this, but I was like... I'm sure there's a lot of you guys out there that can relate to this, so I, I figured, you know, fuck it. I'm just going to put it out there. I'm just going to talk about it because um, I know a lot of people can relate. I mean, fuck, everyone's got, I mean, most people, you know, you got parents or, like, concerned parents, all this kind of stuff, but, you know, my mum, very overprotective uh, and very, you know, can be very negative, look at things negatively, uh, not so much of an optimist. And, uh, you know, in comparison to someone like my stepdad, like, um, who's really, you know, very, uh, very supportive. He's very good at uh, kind of helping you move forward and kind of like not being shocked with any news that you tell him. And, but, but being like, okay, yeah, sweet, there's a solution. Not like freaking out like, oh, you need to take the safe route. Just, you know, come, stop what you're doing, go get a normal job, this kind of stuff. Especially with, you know, what I'm doing. It's like, it's, fl it's very fluctuating and it depends a lot on the content I'm putting out. Like, there's, there's no certain future for for any of the shit I'm doing like you know it's, it's it's fucking it is scary but I mean it's fun it's exciting it keeps me alive and you know sometimes I'm not killing it and it's a lot harder like because I've been through times where I've been fucking killing it like I'm talking thousand making thousands of dollars a week and all this kind of shit like pumping out 
you know, good business, and then other times you're fucking, you've made no money, you've like lost money and shit, like something fucks up, something doesn't happen, you know, it's, it's, it's never, nothing certain, you know, when you take your future into your own hands, and it's, it, it is fucking scary and challenging at times, but it is what it is, and it, you know, it's the life I chose. <laughs> So, I, I need to, I want to actually, here's my message. With, with social media, this whole entrepreneur kind of lifestyle, all this shit's kind of become so glamorized. And it's not. It is not. It is fucking rough. Look at me. I'm fucking sleeping in my car right now. I am sleeping in my motherfucking car. Literally, this Jim C's order, which is live now if you're watching this, you can go purchase it. It's probably actually sold out because we, we did have limited stock. Uh, this was like my little nest egg to get me out of debt because I've been fucking living week to week uh, just getting back into my online coaching that's picking up again so shout out to all my clients out there you guys are helping me live right now I appreciate it I provide you service you you know provide me with fuel units as Ty Lopez would say money to live I told you too much didn't I but anyway like like my point is this life is not easy life is not glamorous all the time uh, I'm not gonna say you know life has to be really shit life has to be really hard because it doesn't as well but what I'm trying to say is life ain't always sunshine and rainbows and you guys you guys probably know that because you're living life just like me and it's funny like I've in a sense like I've been very humbled by life and that's cool I love being humbled by life I don't like when people try humble me you know what I'm saying you know you guys you guys know what I'm talking about if you've been following me for a while and I hate the worst thing I hate is this false image of like when someone's killing it they're an arrogant dick behind the scenes yet they put out an image on social media of stay humble and be humble or, you know they receive an award or something and they're so humble to have received it instead of being like proud and being like yeah fuck yeah I, I'll own this because I, I worked hard for this this whole like you know society wants you to be very humble and you know like I, I do understand that but Sometimes I think I, I think too deep for my own good. No. <laughs> Back to this topic on like entrepreneurship being glamorized on social media. Um, even the like the extent of comparison of what you compare yourself to be successful. Like, man, if you can make literally like on your own as an entrepreneur, if you can make like three hundred dollars a week, you're doing fucking good, man. Like congratulate the fuck out of yourself if you're someone out there and you're making 300 bucks a week I'm, I'm not even fucking around when I say that like it seems like this mentality is, is like right now on social media you know people are comparing themselves it's like if you're not making like hundreds of thousands of dollars a year you're you're not like the man like you're not a good entrepreneur and it's like realistically what's the percentage of people that are actually doing that like this shit just doesn't come easy. It's not. It's not all as glamorous as, as it looks on Instagram, and you know, follow some people. Some people have killed it, and like some people are killing it. And it's a you know very small minority, and a lot of the time you don't even know where the money comes from. You like they could have fucking like come into family money. Man, the amount of times I've met people, I've thought like, fuck, this guy's really successful, and then they've found out like they've inherited money or like. Uh, their parents gave their money to start up this business and shit and I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that but it, like it, it, it does fuck with the whole perspective of shit and it, it kind of fucks up um, you know people's perception of what's possible for them or well, not what's possible for them because anything's possible for anyone but the perception of where they are at now in comparison to where they should be and it's like a lot further gap than, than what it really you know should be because they don't know all the details behind you know what they're looking at and that's what happens quite a lot because a lot of people put out the only the amazing shit only the best looking images and all this shit and everything looks so perfect when it's not you know a lot of people are afraid to do what i do and put out shit like this which is actually you know real personality and it's like and it's something that fucks me up sometimes like sometimes i'm like i put out shit like this and and i get like haters and people are like oh, i fucking hate freeze music faggot like fuck he's a gay cunt whatever like you know all this shit and it's like um you know, a lot of the time it doesn't affect me, but if I'm, you know, sometimes I might be having a bad day and it does affect me. I'm like, fuck, this is really shit. And I'm like, and when people like put this negativity on, on my comments and, and all this stuff about me, I'm like, actually, you know what, fuck. Maybe I, I, maybe I do see now why like people, you know, keep their personal shit off, off putting it out online because, you know, life would be a lot easier that way. And 
you know, you guys know I, I, I went for a while just posting. I, I put my personal life, I kept it, you know, tucked away and I was just kind of putting out like uh, just contents that was, if it was controversial or anything, it's like my personal life had nothing to do with it. But here I am now, you know, I've got my personal life out there again. I'm like, I'm doing this because I know it's more powerful and real and life changing than always being someone that's just gonna always be this fucking strong rock putting out the most epic shit like you know I know the importance and the value that real people like you guys watching this are gonna get from seeing another real person pointing out my real life struggles my real life thoughts and not censoring shit and giving you a personal perspective of what's happening in my life so I'm gonna need my little talk there like fucking honestly man I think it's on this side camera reverses at the screen thumbs up my shit if you like it because it, it that actually makes me feel good it keeps me going like for real like it does like it, I'll um you know I'll be doing whatever I do regardless because I'm just that kind of person but when I get you guys thumbs up you guys nice comments and shit it really does keep me going so you know much love to all you guys who support me um yeah I'm gonna finish the rest of the cigar and yeah, let me know what's up. Comment below. Like, I, I read all my fucking comments. Like, I, I really do. Cigar's gone out. <laughs>